the Fanny has compared to the Brody. They play around, steal, jungle, and again, put pressure on the Marky. Oh, oh my god, my goodness, that burst almost takes Marky down. But of course, with the man we calling now, Biggertron can put extra pressure in that mid. He pulled back, does not matter, he wants the mid as Luke trying to clear the way. Super Ken jumps in with Gables as well. Luki now flickers out of the way as Geek wow. Fam trying to gain space. Oh, they told us welcome, flicker as well. On towards Luke, forcing to use the magic in the back side. It is actually Super Ken causing damage in the front formations of Geek Fam and Super wow. Ken. The drive-by, the hit and run. Hey man, they succeed. What? Come on, what the fuck? Whoa, that is with the flank as well. Bigatron Alpha, they are now trying, really trying to find creative place. But it's gonna be a Lord Dance now. It's gonna be Geek Fam from taking. Bigatron has to respond to this. Yeah, again, Bigatron final slash. Time journey, he Geek. gets taken out. Geek Fam now, again, 5v4, a man up. Looking for the retribution, and Ray gets it. And Bigatron will have to respond with reset. And honestly, it's not really 50-50 when you have a Fredrin, is it? Against a Fanny. The Fredrin definitely has a bit more pressure to play with. Super Ken against Luke. And it should be on one. one. Oh. Yes! Super Ken does not care! He solos a Luke even when he oh, bought revenge in the bottom side now. 4v4. Oh, Geek Fam, they're just running for the hills. And Biggertron, they do not care even though they are a Lord down. I like it. I like the approach they're going for here. They yeah. go for the two guys. The two guys that can avoid. Okay, now, another round force. Ray jumps in as well, trying to assist his teammate. Now, Biggertron looking for space oh, in the back side of the map. Oh! Marky with the full barrage. The barrage of bullets gets Super Ken. And Biggertron with the Emma? 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 What? He has the sack speed. He's getting out of the way. A boy now trying to burst down. But Emma Emma! will have enough to take the whole base and the red robots. The second you think they might have finally made a mistake, that's a back door. Ken with the overextend getting picked off. That might be the ticket. Meanwhile, Woo! Eman just says, hey, hold my cup, man. <laughs> I got you, Ken. <laughs> hold my light wheels. He was able to just hit the base. He basically stole the MVP away from Ken with that play. Yeah, I think so. Eman is probably my, he's going to be my pick of the game, the player of the game as well. But that back door that he was able to really initiate and the uh, minions oh, as well wasn't really cleared by Geek Fam. They just engaged in that fight and Eman was like, yep, I see an angle. I'm gonna snatch it. I'm gonna get it. And he did. I mean it was it was looking very it was looking daisy for Geek Fam. Yeah. They were able to get the kills, the full barrage as well. It's going to be late game threat for Marky. They did take one down, they were able to push it forward, pushing them back, but then Eman comes in as a late hero to just end the game. And I love the fact that a man is basically like a, he's a writer, right? He's a good writer. He's like George R.R. R. Martin, man. He's just foreshadowing his movements. <laughs> Remember the moment he died, was he was targeting the base. Yeah. So he actually died for targeting the base. It was not 